Hi there. Um, uh, someone online uh, asked me to uh, share with you the instruments that I play at the uh, present time. So how about uh, we go over the harmonicas and then uh, the piano and the guitar? Um, the instruments in harmonica that I play right now, I guess this is my principal harp, which is a uh, Seidel Saxony orchestra tuned. It's a 12 holer. And uh, as you know, what is orchestra tuning? Well, if you take a 16 hole harp and you tape off the first two holes and the last two holes, the 12 in the center, that's the orchestra tuned harp. It's not really a different tuning, it's just a different grouping of notes. It gives you the sweet spot um, and uh, for a lot of uh, classical music. This one has a custom ergo button, and I, of course, have also made one of those Kettlewell uh, frictionless mouthpiece sliders, um, which I'll, I'll utilize if I'm going to be playing a lot because it keeps the harp cleaner. Um, you may want to hear this one and hear what it sounds like, and I'll compare it with the uh, other one I'm playing. <clears throat> These are not perfect. They, you know, everything is a, is a trade-off. It doesn't have the rich tone of a Suzuki Phosphor bronze reed. Um, and, uh, but what it does have is a very compact shape. It's got the short throw slide, you know. It's only, you know, half a... I think it's, I think it's like five millimeters is actually the throw distance. And that makes it very quick to, to do the accidentals, and, and I like that. And of course, you'll see that it takes very, look at the size of the holes. They're not really huge. It's an easy instrument to fire and, and make it play. Um, I put the black cloth tape, that's all this is on here, um, for a better grip. And then I open up the covers and remove those stanchion screws here. And uh, again, that ergo button is far more comfy to the hand. Um, not a lot of customization. Uh, the, the, the slider I made for this one is rather thick, and there's a reason it gives the instrument a larger phys physical imprint to my body when I play it. It's like the harp's, you know, higher by half an inch, and this is a very small harp, and I like that. I will mention that I also make this button stick out Mm, three-eighths of an inch more than the stock one, and of course this is rounded this way instead of being convex, which is their worst spot on the, the Saxonese. I've talked with them about it. Anyway, um, so this is stainless steel reeds. Very reasonably priced instrument. Been around a long time. Okay, that's one that I play. And then here's the other one. And you know, I, this is a Gregor Maré, and I kind of always wanted them, and I know this is stupid, but because I like the blue color. Isn't that hilarious? And uh, <laughs> it's like I bought that car because it's it's like orange, man. It's orange, uh, you know, orange flake. And I always want an orange flake. You know what I mean? A GTO with orange flake. And uh, so uh, I, I, I picked this one because a um, little heavier reed set, little thicker reed plates, those beautiful blue covers. And um, I just kind of thought, you know, in the Suzuki line of the ones that I played, and I had a fabulous, those are very expensive harmonicas, but mm, issues. Not, it, it's a very, very, it reminds me of a top grade uh, Yamaha Grand Piano. Very, very precise, very even through the registers, but on the boring side. And whereas this one, I think, is a little bit more fun to play. And I know I say horrible things. I know that. Um, I would say, I'll tell you what I got tired of with the Fabulous. It's hard to put the covers on. I know that sounds silly, but it was a hassle. They were hard to get on there. And, you know, I work on these things, so I should be able to put those on easy. But it's, it's, it's no. Anyway, 
Good harp, though. I, I, I played that a long time in 16s. This is a 12 hole, a C, you know, standard solo C tuning. You know, I mean, this is. That's the lowest note. We're on this one, the orchestra tune. They don't make this in orchestra tune. I'll play it for you so you can hear what this one sounds like. thin one because this is already a bigger footprint. Um, so I mean I'm not I haven't you know like there's times in my life where I've really focused on what instrument I'm playing whether it was a customized Passardo customized their good harps otherwise but you know, I mean, and then the fabulous. I've tried them all. I've played them all. And there's times in my life where I've really been focused on, you know, which harmonica do I have and how do I feel about them. These are just the ones I happen to have. Uh, this one was given to me by a collector as a gift, and uh, this one was also given to me. So I kind of have what I was given. I gave everything else away. I don't, I don't keep stuff that I'm not using. Anyway, so I'm not, I'm not saying these are the only ones that are good. I'm I just what I happen to have. I don't have a, I have a 16-holer Passardo in the basement, but it needs some work to work. Um, let's take a look at my other instruments. Okay, now this is the 1883 Steinway uh, Model A Grand Piano that I restored. That was a fun project. Ha ha. And we'll just play it for you. You can hear the sound. It's very pretty. That's customized. Um, I rebuilt the whole thing with these like A hammer heads, you know, and hammer shanks. That's the part that whacks the string. And it wasn't heavy, st strong enough. So I took those all off and somebody gave me a used set of Bs that are heavier wood. And then they have a more uh, dense felt. And um, <clears throat> I shaped every head by hand. So that's a custom and it's killer. Okay, this is my, this is my good guitar. That's a peerless Cremona VC-17. It's just an old-style jazz guitar, beautiful tone. And then this one is was given to me. This is a 50-year-old Bolivian guitar that I've been working on, and it actually is a beautiful tone. It rings. I kind of like that. And then I have a Telecaster. I don't play that much. And then I have another one. Where'd it go to? Oh, here it is. Okay. I play this a lot. And, you know, this is not a very expensive instrument. This is just a... It's a used Epiphone Joe Pass from the past. But I'll tell you, in a jazz guitar for a low buck, they work great. And um, then I have, oh, you know, like that wireless system there that... Those two rabbit ears, that's a Samson wireless on an Acoustasonic, but I came back and customized it and poked a hole in the wood back there, which improved the tone, the tone whole bunches. Yeah, so that's kind of, I have a lot of little, oh, I do have one more. That's a little melodica I made, and I enjoy that. Those are the instruments.